Shivers just ran down my spine as soon as we entered this room. Tesco senses a tremendous force. This presence is nothing short of a final boss. Then he must be here somewhere. The demon of all demons who rules the netherworld. Father! <laughs> Your fear is unnecessary. The president is the leader of a rotten netherworld. He's merely the embodiment of rotten demons. <laughs> I appreciate the introduction, Tyrant Velvetorius. Th that's He's... The Netherworld President! A measles daddy! Father... I praise all of you for reaching this place alive, you brave, yet foolish rebels. Desco is scared, big sis! His presence shows that he's on a totally different level than we are! It's okay, it's okay, this is just a dream. I mean, toughen up, Desco. You're gonna be the final boss, aren't you? Yes, you're right. Desco shouldn't be scared. Desco is gonna be the final boss. I've been waiting for this, Mr. President. Or should I say, Death King Hugo? It has been a while, Valvatores. Who would have imagined you would be the one leading the rebellion? I was surprised when I received the initial reports. You know my father? Indeed. We fought each other once, a long time ago. My blood still stirs in excitement just from thinking about it. Our violent battle went on for days on end. We never got to settle it, as I recall. So, is Valsy supposed to be like some super crazy strong dude? Idiot. Have you only just realized that? Well, better late than never. Now, be sure to call him Lord from now on. Roger that. I'll be calling him Lord Valsy. Keeping that light-hearted attitude even during this serious moment. Desco still has a lot more to learn from Big Sis. True. Such levity in front of the president. It's rather encouraging to see. Valvatores, what do you seek to accomplish by forming a rival party? You don't even have your power anymore. I heard you became a Prinny instructor in Hades, but... Did your tyrant blood begin to boil in a rage of discontent? Nope! I'm happy with my job as a Prinny instructor. I'm rather proud of it. It's quite rewarding. If you hadn't issued that Prinny extermination order, I would still be in Hades, happily training the next crop of Prinnies. Now answer my question, Death King Hugo. You were more passionate about spreading fear amongst the humans than anyone else I knew. What happened to you? Why did you imprison innocent demons? Why did you let the humans get out of control? What is happening between you and the humans? Letting the humans get out of control? So that's how you see it? Coming from you, one who I've personally fought fist to fist, I take those words to heart. Is everyone else here in agreement? Have you all come here to take my head for the reason Valvatoris stated? Desco wants to defeat Mr. President to become a final boss. My goal is to collect all the money that has been leaked to the netherworld illegally. I'm just here to complete my mission. Your office?
This is my target. I'm gonna become the president so I can change the law and make people treat printies like VIPs! How about you? Are you here for revenge, Emizo? Absolutely not. I just want to prove to you that the spoiled Emizo, who wrote his father's coattails, no longer exists. I'm here to prove that Emizo has been reborn as a great demon who was worthy of being his father's son. Hmm. Werewolf, what about you? I assume you're the man who is behind this conspiracy. My schemes are only made valid with my master's presence. I cannot claim credit for it. My goal is a secret. I have no reason to tell you what it is. I see. <laughs> Look at you, as divided as can be, and to think that the corrupterment has been tossed around by a party that is in such discord. That's right. We're completely inconsistent. Each one of us has something different to say. However, our intentions and goals aren't the bonds that are holding us together. It's nothing as insignificant as those. Connected by something much deeper. Stronger! That is, the camaraderie that we've built through our various battles! Where we were born, how we live, not even what we are! None of us have anything in common! All we have is our camaraderie. However, there is no weakness to be found in our bond! My lord! Valvatores! Mr. Valzi! Lord Valzi, I've really gotta say, you're standing out way too much in my dream. Demon camaraderie? <laughs> Mr. Weirdo. Valvatores, as a tyrant, you used to refuse any membership within a group. But now, here you are. Talking about camaraderie? This is more surprising to me than learning that you were the head of the rebels. Huh. I'm evolving for the better every day. And it's all thanks to sardines and that one promise I made. So you say, I'll be the judge of whether it's evolution or simply degeneration. Pleasure is all mine! While we're at it, why don't we settle that battle we started so many years ago?